Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is hospital cost to charge ratio. Now today's video comes from a comment in a previous video. You have heard me say, heard me say many times that hospitals don't know their own, co own costs. And the reply in this video was that yes, hospitals do know their own, own costs and they use the cost to charge ratio to determine that. And so that is an excellent point that I think is a point of confusion for many people. So I want to go over the hospital cost to charge ratio in detail very quickly. So, it is historically the most common way that hospitals measure their own costs. And it is the alternative to cost accounting, which very few hospitals do, which actually does measure the true cost. So we're going to explain why cost to charge ratio does not actually measure true cost. So, now, when I say hospitals can't measure their own costs, I mean by specific service, like MRI or knee surgery or a day in the hospital for a pneumonia. They their cost in aggregate. So the total cost in aggregate would be like their payroll, plus their supplies, plus their utilities, etc. over a period of time, whether that's a quarter or a year. So they know their total cost in aggregate, right? They know their payables, they know what they're paying out, right? And they also know their total charges in aggregate, right? They know every single bill that goes out their door. So if they just add up all of those bills that go out their door, that's total charges in aggregate and those are billed charges okay now let me give you an example so let's say it's a you know several hospital system they have 500 million dollars a year in costs and they bill in gross billed charges a total of 1 billion dollars in a year therefore their cost to charge ratio is 50% okay now that is not how a specific cost of a procedure is truly determined, and I'm going to explain that, okay? So what they do to figure out what an MRI or an arthroscopic knee surgery, gallbladder, etc., whatever at the hospital, is they just take that ratio and they apply it to the billed charges of that specific service. So let's say for the example of the MRI, they'll just say, okay, well, we know we billed $2,500 for an MRI. They know that, right, because they got a CPT code and they know they billed $2,500 for that CPT code for the MRI, and then they just apply the 50% to that, and they get a cost of $1,250. Okay, now, this is where then the hospitals say, well, Medicare underpays us for that MRI, because Medicare only pays us $500 for that MRI, and so we as a hospital, we need to have commercial insurance then overpay us for that MRI so that we can actually pay our bills, right? So commercial insurance might pay $2,000 for that MRI, right? So commercial insurance is paying four times what Medicare pays, okay? So that then begs the question, okay, well, if where did the $2,500 come from? Because the entire quote unquote cost of the $1,250 for the MRI is based off of the billed charges. And where the billed charges come from is from strategic pricing or strategic rate setting, where the billed charges have been created by the hospital to maximize their reimbursement, specifically from percent of charge discount contracts from the insurance carrier. So there's services where the, the insurance carrier will say like, okay, we'll pay you 75% of billed charges. So the hospital's like, okay, well, instead of billing $10,000 and getting paid $7,500, we'll just bill $20,000 so that we can pay, get paid $15,000. And as proof for this, I will leave a link in the show notes to the YouTube video and the previous A Healthcare Z video where the chief operating officer of the University of Michigan Health System specifically says this. She says, we have to move to cost accounting because our historical form of cost to charge ratio to measure cost is no longer accurate because of strategic pricing. And that's what she means when she says that. Now, the true cost is measured by cost accounting. Now, cost accounting is, okay, well, how much does that MRI literally cost to do? And that's hard because most things in a hospital are services, and services require time studies. So how much time from how many different people, the med techs, the nurses, the physicians, does it cost to do that? And so this is where, and I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the show notes to where the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, they do time studies using their electronic medical record because there's time stamps on so much. And listen, we did time studies at Compass, right? We were a uh, net healthcare navigation service, so we would do like bill reviews and prescription reviews and scheduling appointments and cost estimates. And so we would actually do time studies on how long it took us to perform each of those so that we knew what the actual cost of each one of our navigation services are. That's cost accounting. That is not using cost to charge ratio, which the vast majority of hospitals use. So 
It is only through cost accounting that a hospital can truly say for a specific service, like an imaging or an MRI or an endoscopy, if Medicare is truly underpaying and if commercial insurance is truly overpaying. Because at the end of the day, the vast majority of hospitals in America do not know the true cost of a specific service, test, procedure, etc., at their facility. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.